I'm communicating with the drive using this Schneider USB to RJ45 RS485 cable. To this drive using the integrated Modbus slash CAN port on the lower right. First thing I did was connect it up with the software and went to factory settings and executed so I'd have a known starting point. And then I went back online with the drive loaded from the device. Now under communication, uh, Modbus is off by default, so we're going to give it unit ID of 1. And we're going to leave everything the same, or the factory defaults, 19, 2, 8, even 1. And this 10 second timeout, um, it is the default, so I'm going to leave it. But uh, if you start communicating to this thing, and then you stop your controller or stop communicating, 10 seconds later you're going to get a fault and there's no easy way to reset it. So one of my steps will be to fix that coming right up. Um, but first, now that we have communications established, we'll go to commands and we're going to tell this thing we want it to run from Modbus. Now the default profile is, I think it's called DriveCom profile and getting the drive moving is a sequence of steps that start with putting a 6, a 7, and then an F in a register. I really don't want to deal with all that. So I'm going to tell this thing just to use an I.O. profile. And then I have to tell it to get its command signals via Modbus. Now just doing that should have taken care of most of the I.O. for us and be ready to be controlled with the exception of the fault reset. And I want to be able to do that over the field bus or Modbus in this case. So that's under monitoring fault reset. When you're writing to this thing, you're actually over Modbus, you're going to be writing to these bits labeled CD. And some are already assigned for like run forward, but I'm going to use CD02 as my fault reset. So that is the third bit. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect from the device. There may be a pull down menu for reset, but I'm going to do a hard reset by cycling power to my drive. Okay, my drive's completely reset. And I just want to show the Modbus Serial Link Manual. Page 26 has the pin out of the drive. Pin 4 is plus, not identified as such here, but pin 4 is the data high side. And then, of course, 5 and a common on 8. From there, this is the default settings for your comm scanner. Without doing anything, you will be able to read the status, bits, and the current output speed. And you'll be able to write to the command word and the target speed. As you can see, there are others that you could read and write to by doing some mapping here that are defaulting to zero, but I'm leaving things as they are. And then page 63 just has a, a good showing of you're going to be writing to, excuse me, you're going to be reading from 12741 and writing to 12761. And that'll be, by default, the status word, the actual speed, and I believe this to be a typo. This is the command word and the set point speed. For testing, I'm using this QMod Master, a Modbus test utility I found on the internet. I'm making sure that SoMove is not connected to the drive, so the comms cable is free for me to use. And then it, it took COM5 in the device manager when I plugged in the USB cable. So I've got myself all set up for COM5, 19281 even. Again, the default communications parameters in the drive. And then I'm writing to, I'm doing a write multiple registers to 12761, two registers, decimal format, slave address one. So I go online, start the updates. I can set a speed, which by default is in RPMs, so that should ask for 500 RPMs, and then a 1 to go. Now, if I, oh, 0 to stop, if I were to interrupt communications, which I'll do by simply disconnecting, now we had a full 10 second timeout, so it takes the full 10 seconds for the drive to realize that Nothing's going on, and it needs to go into a fault state. When I reconnect, first thing I have to do is set zeros in these parameters, and then a 4, because I had the third bit, or 1, 2, 4. That gets my drive back to the ready state. Then I can go back to 0, and then drive run, 
set a speed, I'll do a thousand RPMs. Now I mentioned you were writing to these CD bits, and the reason the drive runs forward is by default when you select Modbus Control CD00, or the first bit is the forward run. Uh, L reverse is still assigned to the terminal strip, which if you wanted reverse, you could change that to CD01, for example. And you probably remember we assigned CD02 default reset. And just to show it here, I've put in 12741, which is where we read the status word and the actual speed. And I'm going to do it in binary. Uh, of course, the speed would be easier to read in decimal. Uh, we're not moving currently. And then these are the status bits, which those are shown in the Modbus serial link manual on page 49, what they all represent.